Okay, so in yesterday's Pi News, I covered Minecraft Pi. There's a modded version and it is really good and uh, I thought I'd show how to install it today. Uh, just a separate thing, uh, I did a video on TikTok, I mentioned it the other day, uh, which was this one. And I'm using a Samsung phone at the moment because my iPhone is showing this video. Uh, and it was basically various different emulators that run on Raspberry Pi. And I thought it might go bigger than it has. Uh, it's, a bit, it's done all right. Um, it's got some likes and things, but it's, uh, what, 736 views. But two days ago, or one or two days ago, I put this bike video up, which is uh, me modding a bike that I had. And uh, it's already got nearly 10,000 views. So, uh, yeah, I was quite pleased about that. Anyway, back to Minecraft Pi, and let's show you how to install it. And I have got a separate video on Minecraft, uh, which is the paid for version, the Java version. Um, but I'm not sure if it still works because this was a while ago. Uh, well, that was a year ago uh, and I did a tutorial on how to set it up with Gen 2 Linux. Um, so you could have a look at that if you want to run the full version. Um, but this version, so normally the Pi used to come installed with Minecraft Pi. I'm not sure if it still does. It was more for education and uh, there wasn't any sort of game element in there. It was more sort of building. Uh, still great, uh, but uh, you know, if you want if you want to have the survival experience of Minecraft, this is what you need this mod for. So this was the Reddit post uh, that I'd seen, and uh, it talks about survival mode, natural mob generation, enhanced UI, fancy graphics, smooth lighting, increased render distance. So a couple of things to mention. There is no sound in this. In fact, I was going to include a bit of the video yesterday. Um, but uh, I didn't because I couldn't get the sound to work and I thought it was something I was doing in Twister OS. So I put it in Raspberry Pi, still had no sound, checked out and Minecraft Pi doesn't have sound, but they are working on it. So if I do control F and type sound somewhere on this page, there we go. We are also working on in-game sounds and a full on world edit for Minecraft Pi. Controller support isn't there straight off, but you can do it with Q joypad. Uh, so I'm going to use mouse and keyboard initially, but uh, might have a look at QJoyPad, although I have a separate video on QJoyPad anyway. I did find this uh, control sheet for Minecraft Pi Edition, so you can see how you control it with mouse and keyboard. So WASD, E for inventory, space for jump, mouse control, and so on. Uh, and I'll put a link to all of this in the description. So first off, we need something called Pi Apps. Uh, and Pi Apps, I covered... Uh, well, I often mention it, but I covered it uh, in an older video, but it keeps getting better and there's all sorts of things in here now. So if you scroll down on the Pi Apps GitHub page to this one, copy that text and then open a terminal. I'm used to using a different setup and paste that in. Okay, so that's all done. So now if we go up to here, and accessories and Pi apps. And we can close down the web browser now. So if we go to games, double click on that folder and it'll open up and you can see Minecraft Pi modded. So if I click on that and hit plus. And if you get this Pi apps update available, it's always worth updating it because new things are added all the time. Okay, so that's installed so we can close that down. Now, one thing worth doing before we launch, I think is to lower the resolution. So this is currently running at 1080. Uh, so we go to Preferences and Screen Configuration and Configure, Screens, HDMI and Resolution. I generally run games at 720 on the Pi because they just tend to get much better performance. And click OK and now we're in 720. So let's launch the game. Go to Games and uh, all this is different. So uh, yesterday you just clicked on Minecraft Pi and it launched but uh, now you've got a Minecraft Pi launcher, so let's click on that. Put your password in. If you haven't changed it, it will be Raspberry. And pick the game that you want to play, it looks like. Minecraft Pi launcher. So it looks like in the modded Minecraft Pi, I didn't have any crafting. I couldn't see how to do it. I could just see weapons. Um, so I'm going to try Classic, because it does say recommended here. Minecraft Pocket Edition. Uh, and uh, see what that does. Yeah, this is the one I had yesterday. So start game. And now if I press E, yeah, I've got craft now. Um, so you don't get craft in that other one. I, maybe there's another way of selecting it, but uh, so let's click on craft. Let's go for crafting table and let's get some planks and select a crafting table. So now I've got a crafting table. So four, 
and let's pop it down. Here we go, so wooden pickaxe, let's grab one of those. Let's get some sticks. I really need to get some flint so I can get some light in here. Well, it's nice and generous to give you all this flint. That'll do for now. Right, let's get some torches. I do like a bit of light in Minecraft, especially when it starts to get dark. And just pop some of these around just for now. Okay, so I have a door now. Uh, although I don't have a roof, so I might want to sort that out. Okay, so I've built a little bit of a house uh, and uh, I've got some lighting on it. I've got some nice uh, reserves of flint there, which I can come back to. Uh, you can see, and I'm going to mine down into here. I've got my crafting table there. Just close the door and just have a little wonder just to show you how the speed is. But I'm messing about with it. I found it absolutely fine. You can see there's quite a lot of animals around here. I haven't seen any uh, any creepers or anything like that. But uh, and when it was dark, I thought I might have seen some. I did in the in the other game that I played. And it's not struggling with this view distance either, is it? And if I forget, oh, there's some snow up there. Look, snow up on the hill. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. Oh, and there's some lava there. Look. Yeah. So let's have a look at QJoyPad. Uh, so I've been using mouse and keyboard, and uh, I mean that's probably the best way to play it anyway. But uh, I know some people will want to use a controller. So let's close that down for now. And let's have a look for QJoyPad. So if we go to Preferences, Add Remove Software, and type in QJoyPad. There you go. So let's tick that and hit apply. Okay, so that's all installed, so we can click OK and close that down. Let's get that uh, control mapping sheet up again, uh, which is linked in the descriptions. Here we go. And let's launch QJoyPad. There it is. So the joypad at the top here, just double click on it, left click. So add and we'll call this Minecraft, hit OK. So when we click on, for instance, Axis 1, you can move it around and you can see what the, so this is left and right on my joystick, on my analog stick. So left, we want to do as A, and right, we want to do as D, so now we've got left and right programmed in. So we hit OK. So axis two is up and down. So that's up, click no key, and we wanna go W for up, down, click no key, and press S for down. And that's probably enough for now. Um, but if you wanted to map all the rest of the controls in, that's how you do it. You just go through, you work out what button is what, and you can control it. But let's go back into Minecraft and have a look at that. So you can see now, if I bring my mouse into it, I can look around with the mouse, and things like left click and right click is all is all normal as it would be. Uh, but if I pick up my controller, the I've programmed this analog stick so I can go forwards and backwards. So if I run forwards, you can see, and I can strafe by using right on the joypad, and go back, and then if I want to open and close my door, I can still use the mouse. But if I want as well, I can set up the triggers to be left click and right click. Okay, so I've been playing it for a bit, and uh, there's a creeper outside my door, uh, which is scaring the sheep. So I'm gonna see if I can dispose of him. I left it on earlier on, and I got killed by a skeleton, so skeletons are in here as well. They do, they blow up after a while, don't they? Well, there you go. There's another one over there, look. Or I might want to shut my door. But it actually works absolutely fine. Uh, it's uh, it's nice and smooth. It looks pretty decent. From a crafting point of view, there's loads yeah! of stuff in it. Yeah! 
or when it's daytime again. So let's just pop back in and show you the crafting table, but yeah, it's definitely, there's loads of stuff there, like loads of flint. So you can see here, all of these things are available in the game, all the different color walls and everything, diamond swords, all sorts. So very impressive, uh, and it's being worked on, so uh, things are going to get better as it goes on. I, I do miss the sound. The sound is definitely something that, that does make up. Even though the sound's not amazing in Minecraft, it really adds to the game. So if they can sort that out, that would be a great step. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.